Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new halacha for you, and it's for Thursday, the 14th day of November. Here we go. Okay, now it's really like less than two weeks to Hanukkah, and we need to keep uh, plugging away at the Hanukkah laws. If you ever, if it ever happens that you're going to be lighting the menorah, and when you're lighting the menorah, you're going to be putting it, let's say, by a window in the front of your house so that everyone outside could see it. But for whatever reason, you have other people in your home lighting or guests or whatever, so there might be two or three or four menorahs that you might be putting near that front window. Well, watch out. This could create a problem. I'm not talking about fire safety. Of course, be very careful about that. But it could create a halachic problem that if your menorahs are kind of close and overlapping, then to anybody looking in from the outside, if you want to show them that it's the second night and have two candles lit, it's very not clear, I don't know if I said that right, it's unclear to the people on the outside when they look in that it's the second night because you have a couple of menorahs all kind of sort of overlapping with each other, and so you can't really see any distinct two lights together for the two for the second night. So what you should do is make certain that each menorah is separated away from the other such that it's very clear to people who look on from the outside that they're seeing, yep, yep, it's the second night. See, there's a menorah with two lights on it. There's When I say two, I mean two of the main ones, of course, besides the, the shamash, the one that serves the others, but two main ones lit, and there I see another menorah with two main ones lit, and there I see another menorah with two main ones lit. And when you see it like that, you're getting a clear impression from the outside that it's the second night. That's the way it's supposed to be. If necessary, you could put the two, one, can, one menorah at the living room window, one at perhaps a bedroom window, the idea being that that way it's very clear it's the second night I see a tour over here and a tour over there, and that's the way it's supposed to be. So try to arrange it that way, because if you do, then you have much more clearly illustrated the mitzvah to the outside. And Pirsume Nisa, broadcasting the miracle to the outside, is the main function of what we want to do here whenever we light the menorah. Thanks for logging on. Log on again tomorrow for more. Bye-bye.